Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about uh, part 2 of basics of angiographic views. We kind of covered some of the basic things, the views, uh, the orientation about the II, X resources and the views that you will be taking during coronary angiogram. We are just going to take it one step ahead and talk about some of the basic views and how we can kind of change them to, to see exactly what we are looking for. So with that, I'm just going to ask you to look at this picture one here. So this is your straight LAO view. This is your default view where the tech will take you every time you want to engage the coronaries or when you are done with taking images because this is basically the view where uh, this is your catheter sitting in the aortic root. The left main is on the left side and the RCA is coming out from the right side. So this is by default your you know, working view when you are engaging the coronaries. The reason I brought this up is basically when you are starting an angiogram, the first step um, for the most part that we do is we cross the valve. And I want you to look at this picture too here. And this is your straight RAO view. So why is this important? This is because when you are starting an angiogram, you want to know what is the LVEDP, how is the patient's volume status, is there any aortic stenosis, things like that, that can give you a lot of information before you start taking the pictures or, or shooting the, the coronaries. So this straight RAO view is important because this is your default view for crossing the valve. And I will tell you why it is more it is important that you have your uh, tech move the camera to the RAO view when you are crossing the valve. So let's go back to this picture one here. Here, as I said, you have this catheter sitting in the aortic root, and you have the left main coming like this and the RCA going like that. And your catheter is pointing right, pointing towards right and left. So when you're crossing the valve, you put a wire across in the catheter. This J wire is designed in a way that it's got a curve or a J at the tip. And that is for a purpose because when it comes in contact with any artery or a hole, it gets deflected because of its shape or the J. But imagine if you have your catheter sitting in the um, aortic root and it engages a coronary and you don't know about it and you have your tech keep the eye in a straight LAO view, the next thing is if you push the wire to cross the valve, it's just gonna go into the left main or the RCA and it's gonna, guide, gonna cause, cause a dissection and that can be disastrous. So a very simple maneuver, a very simple maneuver that you can do is just basically, as I said in picture two, you ask your tech to move your camera to the RAO, straight RAO view. What it will do is it will make your coronaries come anterior and posterior. So by doing this and the coronaries being anterior and posterior, your catheter is still pointing left and right. So when you push the wire to cross the valve, this is just gonna touch the wall of the aorta or the cusp and there are very very small chances that the, the catheter is in the coronaries and you can safely cross the valve. So doing as I said doing a one simple maneuver asking your tech to make, move the camera to the RAO view can potentially save you from a big disaster. So with that we go on to the to the basic views. Uh, I have kind of labeled them here, the LAO cranial, LAO caudal, RAO caudal, and RAO cranial view. And before we go into that, I want you to um, kind of know a few things. One of them is when you have your tech moving the camera towards the caudal direction. So I'm just gonna make this arrow here, like toward the feet of the patient. What basically you are doing is you are opening up the bifurcation. So if you want to see the bifurcations, you ask your tech to move the camera to the caudal view. Or if you are looking at the 
body of the main vessels or the proximal portion of the arteries you you may you may when i ask your tech to move the catheter and move the ii in a caudal position similarly moving the ii in the cranial direction or towards the head it will open up branching terminal vessels so if you want to look at the terminal branching vessels and to see if there is any blockage there you will ask your tech to move the camera in a cranial direction similarly if you want to look at the ostium or the ostia of the vessels you can ask your tech to move the camera towards the left side and if you want to look at the branches the main branches that might come off from the um, LED or the left side flash you can ask your tech to move the camera towards the right side so I'm just gonna highlight this circle this because this is, will be very important to kind of understand when you are doing an angiogram in these patients. So let's come to the to the basic views. So the LAO caudal view, I'm just gonna start from here, A, LAO caudal view, it's also called the spider view. In an LAO caudal view, as I said, you will be able to see the left main. And again, if you go back to what we talked about, moving the camera in a caudal direction will open up the bifurcation and the body of the main vessels. So you can see, you can see the left main here. And this is very nice bifurcation that you can see here. And this is the view where if the patient has a ramus intermedius, you can see it clearly emerging from this fork or the Y. So this is a good view to see if there is it is a true ramus or is it a high OM. The LED, as I said, is going to be moving away from you. I label that as an LED. And the left circumflex will be in the main picture. Again, going back to our previous lecture when we talked about the caudal views are good for the circumflex. So again, if you see this, you have circumflex artery kind of very nicely in the middle of the screen and opened up. But again, I want you to kind of, as I said, we want to take it one step ahead. So moving the camera towards the collar direction will open up the bifurcation. You can see that, you know, the ostium of the LED, you can see the ostium of the CERG and the ostium of the ramus intermedius here. And again, as I said, the main, the body of the main vessel, you can see the proximal portion of the left circumflex. If there is any disease here, you can see the proximal portion of the, uh, the LED, if there is any disease there, and again, you know, the diagonal branches as well. Since again, as I said, the camera is in the caudal view and also in the LAO view, going back up here, as I said, when you move the camera toward the right side, you can see the ostium. So here again, going back to the LAO caudal spider view, as I said, you can see the ostium of these arteries very clearly. So knowing what movement of the II will help you look at the arteries, their anatomy can give you a lot of information. So now we go back, go to the next picture, which is your picture B, which is an RAO caudal view. Again, the caudal views, as we talked about, are good for the circumflex. So, so you will see this circumflex artery nicely laid out in the middle of the screen. And then if you go up here, as it said, if you move the camera towards the right side, you will be able to see the branches more clearly. So here, if you look at the circumflex, you can see the OM branch here. If this is OM2, you will see the OM2 branch here. You might see the, uh, the diagonal branches as well. And again, in the caudal view we talked about, you can see the the body of the main vessel so you see the body of the circumflex and then the LED is laid out very nicely here as well. Here what you will be missing is the true ostium of the either the circumflex or the LED or the OM branches because there might be some overlap here. 
So in order to see the ostium, as I said, you have to have your camera in the left position here in the LAO caudal view. But this view, RAO caudal view, will nicely show the LED kind of straight going around in three o'clock position coming down. And then you have the left circumflex going down like this. But what you will be missing is all these distal vessels. They, they might all be overlapping. So for that, you have to go into the cranial views. So we're just gonna go to this picture C here. So cranial view, as we all talked about, is good for the LED. So the artery that will be in the middle of the, of the camera will be your LED. And it will be very obvious here, I made the left circumflex and orange, it might be going away from you and it might be overlapped, but the LED will be nicely laid, out, laid down here. And again, as, as I said, if you go back to this picture here, when we talked about moving the camera towards the cranial direction, will open up the branching vessel. So basically what you will do, you will see that you can see the LED all the way towards its terminal branches, like, like a mustache pattern. In the caudal views, you might not be able to see that, but in the cranial views, you will be able to see the artery all the way down and see the bifurcation. Even for the circumflex, you know, the proximal portion will be all overlapped, but the terminal portions or the terminal branches, you can see them very nicely. And again, you will see the diagonal branches going like that in two to three, two, three or four o'clock position. And this is a very good view, as I said, is for LED kind of laid down if there is any disease in the proximal portion, mid portion, or all the way into the distal portion with the bifurcation. Now we go to the LAO cranial view here. Again, the cranial views are good for the LED. And the LED will be nicely coming down. You see that you can even see the mustache pattern or the terminal portion again, as we said, cranial views open up the branching vessels. So you will be able to see that. And since it's an LAO view or the left sided view, imagine this ostium again. The ostium will be very obvious. So the diagonal branches, you can able to see the osteal disease in the diagonal branch. In the RAO cranial view, these ostium might be overlapped. The LED might be covering the origin of the diag, but here in the LAO cranial view, you can see the, the ostium of the diagonal branches. And then the left circumflex will be running like that. You can even see the terminal branches of the left circumflex. So again, if I have to highlight, moving the camera to the caudal view will give you the bifurcation and a body of the main vessels. Moving the camera toward the cranial direction will open up the branching terminal branching vessels. Moving the camera towards the left position will open up the ostium if you want to look at the osteal diseases. Moving the camera towards the right will open up the branch vessels if you want to look at the diagonal branch or the OM branches in this particular case. So with that we come towards the right coronary artery. And before we go on to that, we do four images, as we all know about for when we are doing angiogram, LAO cranial, RAO, RAO cranial, RAO caudal, RAO, LAO caudal. But you can have a mixture of any images. So, for example, if you're not able to see some arteries or you're not able to see the, the bifurcation or the main vessels or things like that, have this concept in your mind and then you can make up more views. So I'm just gonna, so you can have a straight LAO view. So that will be your fifth view. You can have a straight RAO view. That will be your sixth view. You can have a straight AP crany view. That will be your seventh view. You can have your straight AP caudal view, that will be your eighth view. Or last but not the least, you can have the camera just pointing up straight in the chest and it will be straight AP view.
anterior posterior view so in total if i have to count you can do at least nine images but the basics will be basic images will be four and the rest will be kind of on a hybrid in between these views depending on what are you trying to see so let me come to the rca here so the lao view is the straight lao view usually we do for the rca and you can see the right coronary artery you can see the rv marginal branch and again as i said the the, the terminal branches will be kind of overlap sometime the tax will do lao caudal again the caudal view will open up the main artery but it will kind of overlap all the terminal branches so if you have to open up these terminal branches again going back to what we discussed you have to move the camera towards the cranial view so if you put a little bit of cranial angle you will open up the the bifurcation here so the another view for the right coronary artery is your rao view i usually like to do rao cranial because now you can see the body of the right coronary artery it will be foreshortened but you are looking at the three dimensional of that but the since you put a little bit of cranial to it you will have this nice bifurcation and you can even see the pda plv branches very nicely which in the other view in the lao caudal view will be kind of hiding or overlap so with this i know it's a little complicated but if you go over this couple of times and get an idea next time when you are doing a diagnostic angiogram um, you can really impress your attending by saying oh okay i want to do a little ap um, straight ap view or want to do a straight lao view um, just because i cannot see the ostium or i cannot see that you know the bifurcating branches or i want to see more of that you know ramus i could not see that so i want to do that picture um so that you know exactly what you are doing not just taking pictures and be done with the with an angiogram but exact but in fact thinking when you are doing an image as to what are you trying to see i hope this will was helpful and try to you know practice this maybe in the next angiogram when you are doing instead of taking four images on the left system take another one maybe the one i like is you know ap caudal view and then see how the coronaries you know feature that you can see in the ap caudal and not in the other views you all have a very good day thank you very much